damn, there's a lot of ass is beefy than I expected. Don't have to find another way to defeat him. <laughs> In the shadow of Tiff Valley. You should feel the apostle of darkness. I'll kill you better. And then there was a wacky chase scene. This time, you pathetic little fuck. Where did join the ghosts? <laughs> Gotta run. Gotta go fast. As long as you maintain a steady speed, you should be fine. Even the director is fast and very robust. You'll have to be inventive to get rid of him. Well, just head back for now. Yeah, this won't change. I would really like if they change to, like, stop that. And die. That would be nice. Now we can't- oh, whoa. It's closed. Are all these closed? Let's just give it a little tip. This is not boating well. I will be fully honest. Oh, boy. So that was a giant waste of time. We're out of blood, everybody. Let's move on in. Oh my! <sighs> Miserable runt. Cold water eel. Drag my body child full of fat sauces. Bites of my own domain. It's hard and humiliating. I'll eat your for survival like a block of sugar. Of delight. One idiot. You're tired of self. Exhausting your strength by taking your poor endurance into account. Victory's an elephant like the avoided reach. It's time. <laughs> Look at how absurd this is. All this. Ah, yeah. If you go best, talk to you. Now, Enoch, the royal guardian of zone 3, gets 7,000 HP, 300 CP. This is gonna be a long fight. These competences are Adite Double, Climax, Dramatic Crescendo, Dramatic Irony, Law of Causation, and Trigger Element. It's gonna... This battle is... Quite... Oh boy. Note, Climax hits everyone in your party, but it only will hit you... It'll only use it when he's low on HP, so don't expect to see Climax in early. Special on run. Stop missing. Dramatic crescendo lowers CP. So don't 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 touch it. Don't touch it. This is trigger element hurts a lot. I don't like it. Well, let's um, well, one of those golden flashes that we've been given early on because they even stored a long CP. They gain more than they should. And I appreciate that. Alright, stop over on perspective on the batter. Tragedy. Oops. No. We can't cure. Graphic blur. Convert chain. Thank you. 
Oh boy. Well, I'm actually gonna take this time to explain plot. So you might wanna hear me explain some plot. I'll explain it more well, there's a few lines of Enox that are actually really key to the overall plot. First of all, you refer, refer to the Queen finally as the Queen Mother. Just take note of that. Second, he said that he's um, that the Guardians are almost like gods, and that they create every part of the world that they exist. They are the living engines of every zone, meaning that once you kill them, the zones can no longer exist and just fade back into nothing, which explains what happened in the previous two purified zones. The batter doesn't care. And that's really the, one of the big things that a lot of people seem to forget. Is that this world that we were going through? All of it is to Enoch's design. He created it out of the nothingness because he wanted to. That's what his choice was. All of the Guardians are like that. Daydon's world was created to Daydon's style. They create the worlds that the, that the Elsin or the native residents live in. As Anna puts it, they are very much like gods. A little bit disappeared. And there we go, killed them. We didn't even see climax. We got the Aquarius card, but finally. <sighs> so the heroes destroyed the beast. You know what you've just done? The zone of private guardian is now destined to disappear. And the men who live here will they deserve or not will fall into nothingness. Never to return. You have been defeated, Enoch, guardian of the third zone. This land is now pure. Oh. Well, I like how he has a lot to say. Oh. No even scene to congratulate us. No little accent from the room. But now we have one area left to visit. Let's check out what's happened in Purified Zone 3. One of the most annoying zones in the game. I'll be perfectly honest. That's where I'll be doing my end game level grinding. Because a little 15 right now I could easily take on the final boss and win. This is not a challenging game as I've stated. But first off, we're gonna need to go grab. Ooh, absolutely nothing here. There is nothing for us here. Joyous day. There is a chest in the kitchen. I haven't seen any of the secretaries of this area yet, and they're by far the most dangerous and most useful for experience grinding. Oh, well, let's go read these. There's nothing on the poster. Absolutely nothing is left! Nothing on the poster. Isn't that just lovely? Now, how are we going to get to Area 2 if the subways are all super dead? Right that way, kids! Let's head around. Remember this lovely little area right here? Remember this gorgeous location where the world itself threw its fits? Where there's sugar all it is, another thing. And I missed a treasure chest, whoops. I thought I was going in the wrong direction, but I was going in the right direction. My apologies, my friends. <laughs> and we have our third secretaries! They have 3,500 HP! Zero CP, they have the attack division by zero, which it can poison you, or put you to sleep. And they have the glorious attack that Vertical limit, which just deals a boatload of damage. However, these things are also give off ridiculous amounts of experience, 3,500, and they have a chance of dropping a bad and every time you kill them. It's low, but it's there. 
Which means that you can essentially, as long as you kill enough of them well enough, you will never die. It's fantastic. Did you see that ridiculous damage? It's not good. Dang it, but this, this is what I'll be grinding against to get to level 50. Uh, these pieces of garbage. Stop dividing my zero. It's not possible. You're gonna destroy the universe every time you do it. It's photographic blur. Converted chain. The special home run! There aren't all that many enemies left in the game to fight, actually. There's so much left to do, and there we go! We killed them! We got 7,000 experience for that fight! We got long chain, finally. It's using a bad to beat real quick. But yeah, these guys... They're really good to grind on, oh my gosh. It's very nice how it gives it grinding points. So let's head back into where the monorail station was. Because it's actually some treasure! Look at that, oh. Oh, well, at least there's only one. So it's at the power of our long chain. 606 damage, it's pretty nice, I must say. Pretty, pretty, pretty dang nice. And, uh, dead. <laughs> look at that, this is leveling up. Got us another silent symbol, look at that. Isn't that great? Also, they drop a boatload of money, so by the time you're done grinding, you'll be flipping I'm rich and famous and completely ugly. Oh, no, nope, that's not what I want. There's nothing here. Lovely. Let's go. Keep moving. Mm, guess what's up here? Climb the ladder all the way to the top. <sighs> Look at that. There's an arrow in that tower. Keep walking. Hell yeah! There's no game this time. You just book. No one down here. Go for this. Land right here. This is that same cube and everything. It's really going nice. And we're at mm, question marks. Very questionable antics we're doing right Alright. Now. Now we're gonna. We're in order to find a treasure chest. Can I go this way? 